What's up, PT Kids? It's Miss Jasmine. And Micah. And Ben. And we are here to bring you our last week, week four of Attitude, Attitude of, of Gratitude. Gratitude. Awesome. Okay. But before we get started, we have a riddle. Take it away, Micah. I am as light as a feather, yet the strongest person can't hold me for five minutes. What am I? Your breath. Ba -dum -ba -dum. Okay. <laughs> All right, so this is the final part of our series. Uh, ben, what do we say having an attitude of gratitude is? Having an attitude of gra gratitude is to live in a way that shows thankfulness for everything. Awesome. Okay, so hopefully these past few lessons have taught you what that means. So God has freely given us so much to be thankful for. Have you ever stopped to wonder why God would bless us with, when we truly don't deserve it? So that's the question we're going to um, look at today. So let's see. So Ben, can you help us out by reading 2 Corinthians 9 verses 8 through 11? Okay. And God is able to make all grace abound towards you, that you always having all sufficiency in all things may have an abundance for every good work as it is written. He is dispersed abroad. He has given to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. Now, may he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food Supply and multiply the seed you have sown and increase the fruits of your righteousness. While you are enriched in everything for all liberty, which causes thanksgiving through us to God. Awesome. That was a long verse, wasn't it? Yeah, we'll <laughs> okay. So first verses 8 and 9 promise us that God will provide for our needs. He is a faithful father and he will always take care of his children. Then in verse 10 goes even further to say that God will not only give us what we need, but he will also give us more than what we need. And finally, verse 11 shows us why God blesses us. He blesses us so that we can be generous to others. God has blessed us so that we can be a blessing to others. And he wants us to give these blessings away to others as quickly as possible. So what do you think the result would be if everyone put this idea into practice, Ben? Uh, the world would be like Christmas every day. Yeah. <laughs> yep. yep, okay. And Micah, what would the world look like if those blessed by God used it to bless others? It would look happy, happy, happy. <laughs> okay, it would look happy. Okay. So, Micah and Ben, we're going to read 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 12 through 15. So, Micah, read verse 12 for me. For the administration, this service not only supplies the needs of the saints, but also is abounding mm -hmm. through many thanksgivings to God. Okay, Ben. While the proof of this ministry, they glorify God for the obedience of your confession to the gospel of Christ and for your librarial sharing with them mm -hmm. and all men and their prayer for you who long for you because of the exceeding grace of God in you. Thanks, thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. Awesome. Good job, guys. So these verses show us that when we use what God has given to bless others, um, so there's at least four things that happen. So, uh, Michael, what's number one? Their needs are met. Yeah, Ben, what's number two? By serving them, we are thanking God. Michael, what's number three? They will react in praise or obedience to God. Yes, and Ben, four. They will be thankful for... They will be thankful to God for you. Yes. So th so that last one is the cycle that keeps going and going, and it changes the world. So our main point is this. We give thanks to God for his blessings by sharing those blessings with others. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So there is no better way to say thank you for the things God has done by sharing his love and blessings with other people. We have so much to be thankful for because we... 
because God has blessed us in so many ways as we have learned this month. So it's important that we give thanks to God in bad and good circumstances. We learned that. It's also important that we say thank you to those who have helped us. We've learned that. And the greatest lesson that we can learn about living with an attitude of gratitude is that God has blessed us so that we can be a blessing to others. So Micah, could you read John 13, 35? It says, by this all men will know that you're my disciples if you love one another. Okay, so you wanna say our, our main point again? Yeah, remember we give thanks to God for his blessing by sharing our blessings with others. Let's pray together. Yes, let's pray together. So we, we know that we ha we need God's help, right? Yep. Right. We need Jesus in our lives to live an to live a life with an attitude of gratitude. So always. Always, yes. So we are going to say our prayer of salvation and you repeat after us and after you say this prayer with us, you are saved. So let's do this prayer. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. I am a sinner. I am a sinner. Forgive me. Forgive me. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I believe you died. I believe you died. And rose again. And rose again. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. In your name I pray. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. All right. That's the end of our series. Woo! Okay. PT Kids, we enjoyed you for this series of Attitude of Gratitude. And until next time, we will see you later. Bye. Bye. Peace out. Peace out. Yeah.